Good morning. This is Andrew Sheets with the Third Heaven Traveler. The Third Heaven Traveler is a blog about our spiritual life in Jesus Christ and Him in us who believe on Him and how we apply this existence to our daily lives. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, King James Bible. Gospel means good news. What is the good news? Salvation can only and is found only in Jesus Christ in belief alone that he came, he died on the cross for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. We believe this. If we believe this, we are saved, period. This study is totally blows my mind. I found and am digging deeper in the understanding that the Trinity, the pagan polytheistic bow worship Trinity that's practiced by the Laodicean church, it is driving people to Islam. Yes, let me say this again. The Trinity, which I've spoken out against for several years now, is driving people to Islam. The Trinity is not the biblical Godhead. I don't care the Baptist boy, preacher man behind the pulpit telling you the Trinity is the Godhead. They're liars. They're reprobate of faith. God will deal with them. Godhead is biblical. Do your research. Do my studies. Anyway, I sent an email to my dear beloved brother in Christ, Cameron Moshfe. Now, for those of not, who have not read Cameron's testimony and how he came to saving grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, please read the compelling testimony of brother Cameron Moshfe. Now, why am I bringing this to the forefront? Why am I using uh, Cameron Moshfe? my brother in Christ, as an example. Why am I reaching out to him for his input on this? Because he, in his testimony, and, oh, and by the way, read it. This man is highly educated, highly intelligent, a research DNA, PhD, molecular, biological DNA scientist in Switzerland, right? So how he, he said that one of the fundamentals of course, he was drawn by the Spirit of God, of course, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came and drew him. But it was the concept of the Godhead, meaning Jesus Christ is God. He's the only one and only God. He is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Cameron said, intellectually and biblically speaking in the King James Bible, is another thing because he knows there's so many perverted Bibles out there, that that's what brought him to the realization that, yes, I want to know you, Jesus. You are God. Okay. Take that background information, and I want him to look at this. And so I write to Brother Moshvig, and I want to share this with the reader and the viewer. I said, Brother, I've had, quite frankly, a riveting and shocking discovery. And I find, and I ask you, listener, to go in this yourself and feed, give me comments. I found the following article on Substack titled, Why Western Women Are Converting to Islam. Coupled with this and some preliminary research, I find that Islam is the fastest growing religion. You can read my links in here. It is. And then I write, as I began writing my blog, and this is the blog I'm reading to you and videoing, making the video, I remembered that I had recently read an article about the astounding explosion of the billion dollar plus industry that is being generated by artificial intelligence, specifically chat GPT uh, in their upgrades. Uh, that's taking down the conventional, traditional business models in established markets. I mean, it's we can't even begin to see what's coming on the horizon. On a sub-note, listen to me. Uh, email me. I have the information you can research for yourself. We have forthcoming 18-year-old billionaires. I repeat, 
we have emerging, forthcoming, there, there's going to be and are establishing themselves 18-year-old kids that are going to be billionaires. Why? Through artificial intelligence and how they're exploiting and using it. Okay, so let me continue. Um, now, I certainly understand that AI is a very valuable tool and it's dangerous and it's soulless, according to a blog that I did a few months back. Now, I want you to take the time to go into the description box, open the blog. I did a using chat GPT to study God's word. Yeah, I said, hey, I'm going to use chat GPT to study God's word to tell me what God's words say. It will blow your mind. Now, also read here how the United Nations and all of the the basically building the kingdom of the Antichrist, they're going to use AI, of course, and they're going to actually replace Scripture, the King James Bible, with an artificially created religion using AI as the total basis. Now, that's what's coming, and that's what the, the Antichrist is going to use, we know. But now, let me continue. Uh, that, but I also know that the Antichrist is going to use this to, to deceive them by the millions and keep track, okay? But I also, now listen carefully, listener, I believe that chat GPT, artificial intelligence, can be beneficial in doing our research. Now, I have been doing research for years, and I am a deep studier of God's word. You know all about it if you've been following me for a while, and listen. Just like we have to be so careful of using a reference Bible in our King James, especially run from that Schofield I told you, but we still, I use a reference Bible to gain a quick snapshot overview of the historical relevance of where I'm at. It's a tool, just like Strong's Concordance is a tool, but it will lead you astray. Just like lexicons are a tool, but I told you in my Bible study how to study God's Word. It will lead you astray. You have to use it wisely. It's like using any tool. A fool using a tool incorrectly will kill a fool. Hand, you would never hand a child a loaded, racked AK-47 and said, check this out. Does that make sense? So let me continue. So it said, I continue to Brother Cameron, the benefit I found and look forward to, and I need your, uh, look forward to your input. And I, look, I feel bad. Brother Cameron is extremely busy and he's doing other projects. And I know that me asking him to look into this is going to put another burden on him, but the, he knows as he can get to it. But I said, brother, I look forward to your input on this, considering your education experience. When you can find the time, is having AI research a massive amount of data and spit out an easily digested answer? So, what did I do? I asked Chat GPT. Now I have the new release. There's even I found out another four, but I have the three point five. I asked Chat GPT reasons why. Why? Why are Muslims, or, or why are people turning to Islam? Why, in this article, why Western women are converting to Islam? And let me tell you, it's telling me what I kind of figured. And I had a long conversation with a Muslim about a couple years ago. The phone conversation lasted almost an hour. And this devout Muslim loves Jesus Christ like you can't imagine. And he loves God. He calls all, he loves him. He says, we're all one, Abrahamic faith. This is where all Christians coming. And I told him, I said, hey, you're devout. I, I, I respect you for that. However, you know that we know that between you and I, there's the division of who that person, only one person. That is one God. That is Jesus Christ. And he he was using all of his mustering, all of his self-discipline not to explode and to say, oh, you're an heir, you're an heir, that's apostasy, that's blasphemy. But we talked through it, but I knew it was all, we know it's about Jesus Christ, right? But guess what? 
it comes down to monotheism. What does mono mean? Monotheism. One. God. And that's what ChatGPT is telling me. I knew this, but I'm getting this because, okay, first of all, let, let's, let's, let's back up on something. If you don't understand what ChatGPT AI does now, it gathers billions, literally, who knows, into the terabytes of data. And it pulls data together from the streams and massive amounts of data out there. It data mines, okay? What would take me... Back in my youth, when I was starting university back in my day, it would take me two or three hours in a, in a university library, right? Hours and hours and only scratch the surface of something. Now with the few click, click, clicks of my fingers on my keyboard, I can pull down what would take years of a team of researchers to do in minutes. Are you listening to this? I find through this snapshot, and I'm going to go through the details here, but let's back up. So this article, let's look at this. Why Muslims are the world's fastest growing religious group? Pew Research Center, read it for yourself. Okay, they tell you right here that the Christianity's long reign as the world's largest religion may soon come to an end, according to just released report. Da 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 da. Read it for yourself. Okay. Now, since October the 7th, wow, what happened on October the 7th? Well, as we know, Israel opened itself to a can of worms. I won't go into it again. I have other blogs on this. Everyone's talking about it. Israel now is in a mess because the world is coming to realize that the Zionists are really a machine that's destroying, that's doing horrible things. And now, true. Now, Israel, Israel has, listen to me carefully, Israel Israel, national Israel. They're no more than tenants of God's land. Okay, make sure you understand that. They're tenants. They're the farmers, sharecropper farmers. They're just there as temporary tenants. The land of Israel is belongs to God, and that is given to the true Israel, which is who? The church, the remnant, the church, the church, when we're raptured and come back at the end of the tribulation. The Jewish, repeat, the Jewish remnant who will come through the tribulation, that's true Israel who will join the church. The tribulation saints, they will be part of true Israel. And of course, the Old Testament saints, the true Hebrews, right? They're all, we're all the Hebrews. We're all coming in. It's all in my studies. This is Israel. So anyway, Israel was, Israel was uh, brutally attacked by Hamas. We all know the story, and which personally many of us believe Israel could not have, this was planned just like a 9-11. It couldn't, they couldn't have been that stupid, but now they've reacted now to the point of genocide. They are systematically destroying, and do the research. Don't get caught up in being stupid, but do the research. They're systematically killing now, innocent women and children, non-combatants that are mixed up in all this, into what? What's the death toll now of 11 pushing 12,000? And continuing into this, they eventually want to eradicate completely. And in Israel itself, Netanyahu created Hamas, just like the United States created Al-Qaeda. We know the story. We're awake. Now, let's... I, you know, I am getting off subject, so let's stay on. So anyway, all part of this has stirred up this incredible interest. And in this article from Substack, which I subscribe to, uh, it's uh, these two women write this article. Young Americans have been professing their devotion to the Quran in the ultimate rebellion against the West. I'm not going to read the whole article, but it is astounding. It's earth shaking. They have a young woman, and, and this thing, what Israel's doing right now to the Palestinians, it's driving them into a rage. 
Now, as you know, that Bin Laden video came out on TikTok. And it had millions of views. It went viral. Now, all of this is coming to the forefront right now. So we see a major spiritual shift. Now, if you look at this, in, after 9-11, there were at least 8,000 American women that converted to Islam, okay? And, and check this out. During the height of the ISIS in the, in the 2020 and 2010s, 11, 2012, did you know these jihadi John, Johns and ISIS brides came out of the woodwork? So do the research here. Don't listen to this and say, oh, you, you're an anti-Semite. No, I'm an anti-Zionist, not an anti-Semite. But uh, so this this thing now it's picking up extreme traction. They're called not converts to Islam, but reverts, reverts, meaning they're not con changing their beliefs. They're coming to what they've always known, and that is that there's one true God. Do you hear me? So read the article. <clears throat> so I go in and I say, quote, to Jat GPT 3.5, why do Christians revert to Islam? Listen what they say. I'm only highlighting the highlights. With It says some aspects of Islam resonate with their understanding of God. Listen, resonate with their understanding of God. My commentary. Of course, we intuitively, spiritually understand there's not three gods. There's not three persons where Jesus Christ is the second person. When Christianity is telling you that because these liar reprobates going and leading people straight to hell are telling you there's three gods, but there's only one. But Jesus is the second one, the person. This shocks the psyche, the mind, the spirit. Your spirit knows that's a lie from hell. I did when I was growing up. I said, there's got to be one God, right? I know I'm only talking to God. I'm talking and praying to Jesus Christ. And I pictured him as what? Oh, my pastor said, but he's really going to his father and sitting on the right throne. There's two thrones. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Do you see where I'm going with this? And then I went on a lifelong search and read and study was until the Lord took me out of religion, out of these brick and mortar, lying pulpit, preaching. And then they say, oh, people like me, we, they call us modalists. They say, oh, you're, mo you're, you're a oneness doctrine. You completely deny there's the Father. No, of course not. But read my studies. It's all Jesus Christ. So they also say, now look at this, monotheistic beliefs with a focus on monotheism. Some Christians may be drawn to Islam's emphasis of the oneness of God. My commentary, yes, this is the acid test, proof, the essence. We spiritually know by our conscience, our intuition. Please read my study on what conscience is, what intuition is. Even a lost person has a conscience. They know what's right and wrong. They have. Everyone has a spirit, right? And they have intuition. The only thing a lost person does not have is communion with God, the Spirit of God. That's Jesus Christ, the Spirit within Christ, right? Called the Holy Spirit. They, we know that there can only be one God, not three gods in one, not three persons in one. Not We know this. Into, into, and so Islam comes along and says, hey, there's only one God. Oh, Jesus? Yes, we don't deny Jesus. He was a great prophet, a wonderful prophet, a godly prophet. And yes, Jesus will come and assist in the, what, eschatological the apocalyptic end of the 12th Imam, right? Right? When the 12th Imam appears, who's going to be with him when Allah sets up, they believe? Who's going to be the number one guy on his right hand assistant? The second person again, Jesus Christ. Do you see where this is going? 
people. The Trinity came out of the second century. Tertullian from Carthage. Canaanite, bloodthirsty Canaanite. Do the connections. I have the studies and studies and studies and studies. Wake up, wake up, wake up. This is the person. Only one person. Only one God, that is Jesus Christ. He's the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The word of God states it. Read it. Colossians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. It's man's vain imagination that creates this, this other stuff. All religions mock Christians and their belief in the Trinity. Trust me. Trust me. I've talked to them. You've seen them. They even do movies about it. Bollywood had a fantastic movie. Anyone like watching Bollywood? Watch that movie sometime, White Tiger. It'll rip you apart. You know what he says? The Christians, they have their three gods. Yeah, I'll leave it there. The Jews, what lights them up? You want to get a Jew really going, man? Light a firecracker under a Jew's butt, and guess what? They're going to light up. There's only one God. Yeah. If you tell them the J word, whew, that's it. They hate Jesus Christ. They have a horrible name for him. They, they won't allow you. National Israel, get your flag wave and Israel flag down and stop this. G, this is God's people. No, they're not. Now, a remnant will come out of them after, during the tribulation. They're only there is are its tenets. Read Matthew chapter 21. Do your research. Read the husbandman, the parable of the householder. All religions mark, mark, mock the Christian trinity. See my detailed study on the debate between a so-called Christian, Dr. David Wood, when he debates a Muslim scholar, Trinity versus Talid. And it's shocking. It's shocking. The Muslim won the debate using the Bible. I kid you not. Read it. Study it. In there, I have all the links if you want to know, what is this Godhead stuff? I thought it was the Trinity. Study it. It's in here. Email me if you need more questions. Now, look at what else chat GPT says. It says some Christians appreciating Jesus and their faith may find the Islamic perspective on Jesus aligns with their own beliefs. Of course, if you've been taught since childhood in Sunday school that Jesus is the second person, think of second fiddle. Think of the backup the Catholics had him painted as a little boy wearing his diaper with holes in his hands, crying out to King Daddy, the father, could I sit next to you, Daddy, in a throne next to you? You've seen it. I've done the studies. Read it. Yes. Islam would lined up perfectly saying, hey, we don't discount Jesus, but certainly don't call him God. He's the second person, right? You see how that lines up? Anyway, read the rest of this. You'll find it astounding. Also, uh, I asked more questions from Jack. See, you can ask many, many versions. And I went through two or three. A revert versus convert. What's the difference? Again, I see the rooted Islamic belief is the inclination, right, of monotheism. Monotheism means only one God. More proof of the biblical support of Godhead versus the pagan trinity. Dear Lord, oh, oh, before I close in prayer, I also check out what I did in chat GPT regarding the awakening and the age of apostasy. It will shock you. Dear Lord, Jesus, I love you. I worship you. I ask that this work be dedicated to is an honor, Lord, for your glory. Even so, Lord, I pray that eyes could be open to the truth that you are God Almighty, the only person, the one, the only Lord. And that, Lord, even so, I pray, come soon. Amen. Maranatha.